Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the data diode technology. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, cyber security and you want to learn about it. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Uh, friend, first of all, data diode technology. So first thing that it we we are basically talking about technology. Now data diode means that something which pertains to data. Diode is a device. Normally diode is basically this symbol is called as diode. Now the data diode also the called as the unidirectional gateway is basically a device. Device that basically uh, uh, basically it is a network appliance or device allowing data to travel only in one direction like for example if data is coming from this source way so it and uh, traveling through from data diode so and reaching this uh, destination so from uh, if it is going from source to destination in one in this direction so it cannot go back from destination to source so always the diode is basically a unidirectional and it will goes from one direction to the other direction and the reverse data traveling is not possible in the data diode data diode is basically this type of uh, device is actually that is called as data diode so uh, always remember that whenever we talk about data diode is we are talking about traveling of data uh, which is unidirectional means that it is a single way single way from source to destination data is traveling and uh, dual way double uh, dual way traffic is not possible is not allowed in the uh, data diode now uh, if we talk about in detail that data diode is basically comprised of two communication card one is the sender card and the second one is the uh, receiving card for example uh, on the source server a uh, source the uh, location we have a sender card which basically send the data towards the uh, destination uh, this sender card is only capable to send the data and it is not capable to receive the data the receiving uh, machine or receiving server is basically has another card which is called as the uh, receiver uh, card and this receiver card has capability only to receive the data it cannot send the data so that means if you see when the sender card send the data towards the destination or receiver card it can only send it will not receive and similarly on the receiver card receiver side or the destination side receiver card only receive the data and it will not send back the data on back so that is way and also the sender or receiver are basically disconnected with each other like that means it only send the data it and doesn't know that what happens on the uh, receiving side similarly receiver side only receive the data and it doesn't know about the source side so they are basically uh, you can say they are only uh, they are completely disconnected with each other so source and sender so uh, sender and the receiver and uh, there is a complete gap air gap between sender and receiver as well now protocol breaker protocol breaker means that friend uh, the sender and receiver uh, has a protocol break protocol breaker is the process of terminating a data transfer protocol uh, sending the data payload via different protocol and then re-establishing the original protocol before data travel to its uh, destination so that means the data transferring between sender and receiver is based on protocol break and data diode incorporates a protocol break which conceals source network information such as IP or MAC address this makes it impossible for any external threat uh, actor to ping disconnect or otherwise obtain any information about the same network now how the data di data diode is different from firewall from firewall is also used for uh, cyber security and uh, security of data now uh, many people compare the uh, data diode with the firewall basically friend first of all the firewall is a software based solution and there is uh, many vulnerabilities because it is a software based solution however the data diode is a hardware based solution and uh, basically uh, that, that enforce one way data flow through a deterministic mechanism that cannot 
cannot be modified or forced to operate in an unintended way so that is why the data diode is more secure than firewall and nowadays many companies are moving towards data diode technology as compared to firewall because data diode is unidirectional it has air gap it has protocol break and uh, it is uh, almost impossible to break the uh, data security through data diode however the firewall is also a very secure way and uh, however it is basically uh, it is a software based solution that is why it is not much secure as compared to data diode technology so friend i thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends